if you've been driving around the US this week, there's a chance you've overtaken a Tesla owner who was driving really carefully. That's because Tesla is preparing to offer more users access to parts of its full self-driving software that were previously off-limits. See, while people who have paid for FSD have been able to use some of the driver assistance tools, one feature, Auto Steer on City Streets, has been fenced off. But now? Oh yeah, here it is. Limited early access, full self-driving beta. But there's a catch. In order to use this new city driving feature, Tesla is making its vehicle owners demonstrate that they are safe drivers. That's led to some Tesla owners taking their cars out for, well, less of a spin and more of a gentle cruise as they try to score well on Tesla's safety test to gain access to that FSD beta. I promise I will be a very good boy. So what does this safety test entail? And why is Tesla making its vehicle owners demonstrate that they're safe drivers in the first place? Well, fasten your seatbelt and check that rear mirror. I'll explain. Okay, first we need to clear something up. Because although this software is called full self-driving, the car cannot fully drive all by itself. FSD beta does not make my car autonomous. Right, sure. The suite of features offers Tesla owners some advanced driver assistance tools, like automated lane changing, auto park, and systems that help you drive on a highway. But even Tesla itself says the currently enabled autopilot and full self-driving features do not make the vehicle autonomous. But Musk has said he has plans to enable all modern Teslas to potentially be autonomous, and that FSD is part of the path towards autonomous driving. All Tesla cars being produced right now have everything necessary for full self-driving. Around 360,000 people have paid a lump sum of up to $10,000 to have access to FSD features. Tesla also gives users the option to subscribe for up to $200 per month. And while Tesla has been rolling out features one by one, Auto Steer on City Streets has remained the exclusive domain of a handful of testers. Until now. On the 24th of September, Musk tweeted, FSD beta request button goes live tonight. But when users tap that request button, they weren't immediately given access. You are enrolled for that full self-driving beta queue now. Oh yeah. Instead, they were entered into a queue, and Musk said they would only be granted access if driving behavior is good for seven days. Behavior is monitored using Tesla's safety score beta. Data is sent to Tesla from the vehicle to monitor things like potential collisions, hard braking, aggressive turning, and unsafe following. It takes all of these factors and gives you a score based on your driving. And helpfully, it even tells you where you went wrong. Kind of like having your mum in the back of the car. It's resulted in quite a few people driving very carefully to try and game that score. So how good do you need to be to access the beta? Well, it's unclear. Musk has tweeted that they plan on onboarding around 1,000 people per day, starting with the very safest drivers and then working their way down. But we don't know at what level they'll stop. But you may be wondering why Tesla is asking its drivers to prove they're safe in order to gain access to software that drives on their behalf. Well, part of the reason could be down to that name, full self-driving. See, my colleague Rebecca Elliott spoke to the head of the NTSB, who called Tesla's use of the term full self-driving misleading and irresponsible, and added that people pay more attention to marketing than to warnings in car manuals. With an ongoing NHTSA investigation into its less advanced autopilot system, the last thing Tesla needs right now is any additional crashes where its driver assist software could be called into question. But let's be real here, what Tesla have managed to do is make some of its vehicle owners drive a little bit safer, if only for a week. And given how many crashes there are on US roads each year, that can't be a bad thing. Hey, Rebecca Elliott actually spoke to my colleague Alexander Hotz for a separate video on this, and I've left a link to that video below. And as always, if you're interested in the future of how we might be getting from A to B, then don't forget to subscribe. Catch you later.